that'll be going on. So keep your voice at zero or a one. Now we have an interview from Andy. Hi, it's me, Andy, and this I'm interviewing Miss Nicole Zuma. How long have you been teaching music? I've been teaching music for 31 years. I actually have taught kindergarten through eighth grade music, and I've also taught preschool. I've taught a pre-kindergarten program, and I've also taught three and four-year-old preschool, and opened and wrote curriculum for a three and four-year-old preschool. What is your favorite instrument? I would have to say the piano. That's the one that I've played the longest, and that's the one I really enjoy playing. Have you ever taught at another school? I have taught at three other schools. I taught at Holy Ghost in Wooddale, and which is a private school, and I taught at St. Philip the Apostle in Addison, another private school, and I've also taught in District 25 at Evergreen Elementary School. Do you enjoy teaching music? I really do enjoy teaching music. It's always changing, and there's always something new, and it's it's a lot of fun for me. Do you enjoy the record of music? Andy, that is such a tough question. I know that the students really love the recorder unit, and I know that they get a lot out of it. But for me, I have to admit it gets a little bit boring listening to recorder all morning long for 13 weeks. That's it, Huskies. Thanks, Eddie. That was awesome. Now we have the weather from Emma. Hi, Huskies. I'm meteorologist Emma. Today, the Today the weather will get to a high of 45 with a low of 36. Today there is a 0% chance of rain, but there still is some snow on the ground. Tomorrow it will be in the 60s. I don't know about you, but I am ready for it to be warm and spring weather. And it will be. On Thursday and Friday it will get to a high of 71. That's the weather for this week, for this week Huskies. Remember to bundle up today and look forward for the end of this week when you don't have to bundle up anymore. Bye, Huskies. Thanks, Emma. That was interesting weather for this week. Now we have a book view from Gabby. Hi, Huskies. My name, my name is Gabby, and today I'm going to be telling you the book review. My book is 365 Days of Wonder. It's, it is a book, but it doesn't really have a story to it, kind of. All it has is just like little quotes for each day. That's why it's called 365 Days of Wonder. And um, I think that it will make people have lots of emotions, like happy emotions, and maybe sad emotions, and maybe little mad emotions, but mostly happy and excited emotions. And... Um, this book is really awesome, so I think you should go check it out in the library because, like, this is what the cover of the book looks like. And, um, the, like, my whole class, Mrs. Bear's class, we've been, like, reading Wonder, and now we're all, it's, like, the R.J. Palaccio book, so we've all been reading them. And here's another little thing of the book, if you can see it. And, um... If you, like, can't find it in, like, the library, I would go to a bookstore and buy it. I don't think you would be wasting money at all. You don't want to waste money. So, um, I think you should get this book. It's really awesome. So, that's my book review today, Huskies. Thank you! National Library Week is this week. In National Library Week, we appreciate all the libraries. We appreciate the libraries for what they have done to us. For example, they let us borrow books, use the printer, use computers, and help us in many different ways. We should all appreciate National Library Week. Israel Adanshi is coming to our school. He is famous for playing foot for playing on the Chicago Bears football team. He retired and started writing children's books. He wrote three books. He is presenting them to the kindergartners, first grade, and second graders. Park Tatchers, good luck. Well, that's all for today, Huskies.